Hey you guys, long time no see. What's up YouTube? So if you clicked on this video, thank you for cl clicking on this video. I'm tongue tied and I just started. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, long time no see. Well it ain't been that long, but it's been a minute. Um, so I have no idea what I'm gonna title this video like right now. I have no idea. But I said I needed to go ahead and make this video because it's important to me for one, which is going to lead to other videos that are important. So I don't want to put those videos out and none of it makes sense. So I got to put this video out first. So this is going to be a very hard video and... But I guess I'm just going to have to do it. So, I ain't looking all cute and stuff. I said that so many times. I'm not going to get on here and be all cute. After I just got out for work, I'm tired. Okay? You go get what you get. Get lucky if I get on here cute. But if I'm looking normal, hey, it is what it is. Okay? So, it's going to be a hard one. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to cry. I think I'm good. But it's just still going to be a hard one. So, I've been making videos for, I don't know how long I've been making videos. I have no idea. A year, two years, I don't know. However long I've been making videos. So, I've never really came on here and said, you know, as far as my religion. There's a lot of things that I don't say. But as far as my religion goes, my family, you know, certain family members were... Jehovah's Witness and I've never said that um, on my channel so all my life that's like all I've known like literally I've been to like different churches and stuff like that but it's just like you know when you've been in something all your life and they tell you this is the truth and you go somewhere else and you're like, if this is the truth and they're not doing that, then that must be wrong. So I've been to other places, but it's like when you've been trained over and over and over and, and you learn to regurgitate the shit that they say, you, your view of the world is different. Your view of religion is different. Your view of everything is different. Like... So, I would say probably about 15, 16, I've literally been having doubts. Never had a reason to have doubt. Nobody's ever done anything to me. Can I tell you how many meetings I've sat in looking around like, these people really eating this stuff up. Like, they just, you know, like, they just really eating this stuff up. And I'll just be like, God, like, is this it? Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, did, is this is this it? Because they really eating this stuff up, and I'm just not sure. Like, that's literally what I would be thinking in my mind since I was, like, a teenager. Like, still, I don't want to say to this day because today I'm not a part of it. But up until, like, a couple of weeks ago, yes, like, I kid you not, I would, since I was 15, 16, I'm about to be 30. So we're just going to say 15 years. Just to round it up. So for about 15 years I'm like. Is this it? Because like, they really eating this stuff up. Like they really in awe. But what's wrong with me? Because I'm not like everybody else. Literally I have these thoughts in my head. Like what's wrong with me? So. I would say two years ago, I was working at an outside mall, and this girl walked up and, of course, gave me, I don't know if she gave me a track or gave me a watchtower. She might have just said, you know, would you be interested in the Bible study? And I said, yes, like, you know, ugh. and I started crying because I'm like, my life isn't right. Not that my life was just bad, like, because it wasn't. You know, I wasn't out here partying. I'm not. I would honestly, to be honest, because we grown folks here. Well, it might not be some grown folks, but the only thing really that I've always gotten myself in trouble for was men. 
you know, being sexually active and I'm not married. That is the one thing I continue for me, I get in trouble for or feel guilty for because you're not supposed to be doing that. Other than that, I'm not living a bad life. Um, Since my son has been born, I have been working consistently. Working, 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 taking care of my son. Working, 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 taking care of my son. Working, 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 taking care of my son. No trips, no vacations, hardly any parties, hardly any clubbing. I still do the same thing today. I'm repetitive in my videos. I tell you all the time, I just got off of work. And I did today. Just got off of work. I just got to work eight days in a row. So, for me to feel so guilty, don't make no damn sense. But I'm going to circle back around to that. Just, just hold that thought. So, she's like, yeah. And I apologize. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I do not know. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, but I got to put as many details as I can. So, if you want to watch it in two parts, you can do that. But I got to get it out. So, I'm like, yes, I'm crying, thinking, oh, my God, I'm such a bad person. I ain't been going to the means. I got to get my life right. Yes. You guys, I have been having Bible studies for two and a half years now. Two and a half years. I just had my last Bible study last Monday. The only reason I didn't have it Monday was because I was through with the doubts. Which I'm going to circle back around to that in a little bit. I'm going to circle back around. Just had a Bible study last Monday. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, let's, you know, yes, got to get my life right. So I studied with her for a little bit. She... I ended up not being my teacher because she wanted to learn, I think, sign language. I think, I think it was sign language. So she wanted to be able to, like, uh, study with people who, you know, only spoke through sign language. So she learned sign language to do that. So I worked with another lady <sighs> for a while, maybe a year, year and a half, something like that. Um, but I ended up moving. So the area... That she lived in, I was going to that kingdom hall. But because I moved, I could not continue as far as getting baptized because they're not they're not physically seeing me go to the meetings. So I can't get baptized because I'm not going to the meetings with her. It's about a 30-minute, the 40-minute drive, depending on how bad the traffic is. So I can't keep driving over there twice a week to go to the meetings. So I'm, even though this year, year and a half, I was having all these studies every week, I'm not progressing. I'm not going to go anywhere because they don't physically see me going into the kingdom hall. Even though I say I'm going, none of that matters. They have to see you. So, fast forward. Uh, she met with me at the kingdom hall I was going to. Just randomly found a lady, spoke up to her. It was a black lady. So I ended up studying with her. Mind you, I'm a single mom. I'm busy working, taking care of him by myself. Cleaning, going out to the laundromat, going out to grocery shop. I'm busy and working. This job, I work long stretches. Like I just got through working eight days in a row. Okay? So if anybody knows anything about Jehovah's Witness, they would take over your life. You will have no time for yourself, especially if you have children. You won't even have time for your children. So basically, you have to make time for your children. So which means at the end of the day, you're not going to have any time for yourself. You go croak over doing this stuff. No lies, okay? Facts, facts. Same, I can't make this up. This is out there in the streets. You can look this stuff up. So, met with her. You got, okay, so I'm going to the meeting Sunday. I think it was like three, I think. No, one, I think it was one. One o'clock on Sunday. Go to the meeting again on, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I think that was at 7 or 7.30, and I'm having Bible studies Monday. So they're taking up three days out of my week. So my job is you know, my schedule is not the same. I can't make it to the Sunday meeting. I make it during the week, but because I don't make it Sunday, basically I'm not going to get baptized because they feel like you should consistently go to these meetings. Like, you know, if they don't see you going, 
you're not going to get baptized. If they don't see you going to all these meetings, you're not going to get baptized. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about your faith, really. It's really not about your faith and how much faith you got in him or that you claim that there is a God and you believe Jesus Christ is a Savior. It's not about that. It's about do they see you going to the meetings and do they see you actually going into the kingdom hall and going to all these meetings and going to all these Bible studies. That's what it's about. So... I couldn't make it to Sunday because my schedule really started changing. Now I'm working these long stretches. I can't make it on Sundays. But, let me back up just a little bit. I'm having studies with her and I'm telling her I can't make it on Sunday because of the job. And she's like, pressure me. You need to start going. You need to start going. You know, you... Jehovah set this up to where you need to go to these meetings. Even if you gotta quit your job. You know, do what you gotta do. And I'm like... My job had it lay lock my heart. That shit lost her mind. Who gonna pay these bills? It's just me. Most women, if they can, when they marry a brother in the kingdom, how they quit their job and this is their life. I'm not married to anybody. It's just me and my son. And I pretty much financially take care of him by myself. The money I get go to daycare. So everything about my son, I do by myself. Emotionally, physically. Everything, homework, I do by myself. So, quit my job? That's not happening. So, she was like real aggressive with it. And it was so aggressive where I was getting uncomfortable. I said, I can't take this no more. So, go up a little further. I said, I don't want to have my studies no more. So, she found... She suggested that I go to another Kingdom Hall that started at 5 o'clock on Sundays. So I said, okay, I can do the 5 o'clock. So she found a, she knew a sister in that Kingdom Hall that could study with me, take over my Bible studies, since she couldn't. So I did that. I've been doing that since March up until now, because I just had a Bible study last week. So up until now. I'm still not baptized, okay? July, oh, wait a minute, March, March, April, May, June, July, uh, five months. I've been having these Bible studies. I've been going to these meetings, but I'm going to circle back around to that. So, mind you, do, this is 2019, okay? I'm 30. I've been having reservations for about 15 years now. Still having reservations. Still go to the meeting like... God, is this it? Like, is this it? These people still sucking this up. I'm not sucking it up. Something got to be wrong with me. So, because I think something is wrong with me. Because I'm not accepting this truth. Something got to be wrong with me. Something is wrong with my relationship with God. I'm down everything. Like, something got to be wrong with me. Something. Because I'm not sucking it up like everybody else. I'm sitting up here like... I'm just not sucking it up. I'm saying something ain't right. I don't know. So, if you watched my last video, you know I went on a cruise, which I haven't even talked about on my channel yet because I've just been going through a lot. I went on a cruise. Kids, you not on my cruise. I'm saying, you know, but I've said this before. So, this wasn't my first time saying it. Why do I have to get baptized in a religion? I s supposed to get baptized because I believe in God and I believe in Jesus and I want to do what you tell me to do I'm ready to live my I want to have a clean life I'm not getting baptized because of that I have to get baptized in a religion why do I have to be in a religion I, that's not what I want what is the deal like you don't know if they telling you the truth you just it just nothing about it made sense like, why I can't just go down to the river like they used to with the preacher standing in the water and they playing the music and you just come on by and get baptized? Why I can't do that? Now, where they at? I don't know. Maybe they somewhere deep in the south. I'm really not sure. If anybody knows somebody, let me know. I'll go down there. But I don't know anybody because religion is about making money. They're not going to baptize you for free. You need to put your time in. Get a little bit of money. Spread the word about us. And then maybe we can baptize you. See that's what it's about. That's what they don't tell you. But anyway. 
Literally. All this year, I'm like, what's wrong with me, Jehovah? I'm not sucking this up like everybody else. So, two days ago, today is Tuesday. Say Tuesday? Yeah. Because I'm off tomorrow. So, I'm going to say Sunday. Because my y'all had to work eight days in a row. So, I'm going to say Sunday. I was asleep. Okay? I had to get up to go to work in the morning. I got to be at work at 6. So, my alarm went off at 4. Okay? That's my first alarm. I wake up at 4. Picked up my phone. Hit dismiss. I dismiss, dismiss my alarm. And... I don't know what made me go into YouTube because I never go into YouTube early in the morning. Never. Like, I'm I'm not a morning person. I hate getting up in the morning. That's why I wake myself up an hour before. So, I don't know what made me go into YouTube, but I went into YouTube and this video popped up. I don't remember which video it was. I think it was something about, like, the person who originally started the Jehovah's Witness organization. I think it was Charles... Taz Russell. So look his name up. And if you look his name up, there was a guy who went to his grave site. Yeah, Charles Taz Russell. But you can Google it and it'll automatically come up. But there was a guy who went to his grave site. So he said, yes, this is his little grave site. He has started the Jehovah's Witness organization. Kid you not, he turned that camera around. And say, yeah, guys, right across from his grave was a damn pyramid. A pyramid out of all the things. A pyramid. I, I just woke, I just opened my eyes at Folsom. So it had to be maybe like 415. I'm like, baby, I rewind that video. Do that over. Okay, his grave is his name. A pyramid, bitch? What? Lost my mind early in the morning. Kid you not, early in the morning, like 4.15, 4.20. I was scratching my head like anybody who watched videos. I mean, if you really get into pyramids, then I guess you would know all about it. I don't know much, but from what they put on YouTube and pyramids is a bad thing. So he's like, you know, look, you know, it has four sides. It has a book. With some names. You go on the other side. It's a book with some names. And it has Watchtower Trek Society. Or something like that. But you know that's associated with Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'm like. That's definitely Jehovah's Witnesses.